Now that we stand at the center, we will describe this area of the capilla going from the floor upwards. At the highest point in the dome, we find the magnus opus, el hombre de fuego, the man of fire. The dome stands on four columns made from quarry stone. As they reach the ceiling, they take the shape of an inverted triangle with curved sides, known as a pentateuch. On each of the four pentatives, we find a half-naked man with brown skin and tonified muscles. They seem to be descendants of the natives and carry Spanish weapons like the ones used against their ancestors. Two of these men carry rifles, while the other two carry swords on their waists. The four men have a mixture of indigenous and Spanish elements, and they seem to either hold the dome or climb towards it. Above the pendatives, the circular shape of the dome takes form. At its base, there is a ring with 16 smaller murals with quarry stones separating each of them. Painted in gray tones, they represent various human activities, such as trades and fine arts. They represent sculpture, painting, architecture, and printing, among others. Above the ring of murals, there are 16 windows with small quarry stone columns between each of them. These windows fill the capilla with natural light. On top of it rests the dome. You stand below El Hombre de Fuego. The dome is circular and concave. On its hollow side we find a mural. It is particularly difficult to paint in this type of surface as it requires a great technical skill to keep the images from distorting. It is for this reason that Orozco is renowned for this mural. The mural is filled with red hues and we find four human figures. Three of them are at the edges of the dome in gray tones that contrast with the red. They surround the mural in a circle and give the sensation of movement and dynamism. The first human figure is barely noticeable, laying face down in the ground. Some of his head can be seen as he puts his hands over the back of his head. Upon this figure rises another human figure in doll colors, bearded, bald, and elderly. His face in blue color appears serious and pensive, while his eyes wide open indicate astonishment. On the opposite side, there is a third human figure lying with his body extended. His face features are highlighted in white. He has a big straight nose and square jaw. His hair waves in the wind as he looks up in awe with his mouth open and leads us to the central figure which crowns the mural, the man of fire. Painted in brush strokes of reddish brown, his toned muscles are engulfed in flames. His face is further away and his features cannot be appreciated. His extended limbs give the sensation of movement which his right foot behind his left foot. He appears to be turning, but since he is suspended mid-air, we cannot tell whether he rises or falls. The effect that the concave shape of the dome gives to the mural is one of the main features. In order to create this mural, Orozco studied the shape of a man as he pretended to walk while he was lying face down on the ground. Visitors have given many interpretations about the painting's meaning. The most popular state that fire symbolizes progress in technology or that it symbolizes transformation and transmutation, change. Historically, we have represented fire as that which separates us from animals. How does this mural make you feel? What do the figures around the man of fire represent? What does fire represent to you? Have you experienced a major transformation in your life? This is the end of our tour across the murals of Museo Cabañas. We thank you kindly for your visit. We invite you to explore the many rooms of Museo Cabañas where you will find temporary expositions with the work of other artists. If you would like to know more about the life and works of José Clemente Orozco, go to video number 9.